Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this frame using slope deflection method. In this frame, there are two inclined members AB and CD. Also, there is a horizontal member BC. The moment of inertia for AB and CD is 2i and for BC it is i. In AB and CD, there is no load. In BC, we have uniformly distributed load 6 kN per meter. It is acting for the full span. In the joint B, there is a nodal point load 24 kN. It is acting towards the right side. So, in this frame, the sway will occur towards the right side. This frame is symmetrical with respect to the dimensions. Length of BC is given as 4 meter. We have to find the inclined length of AB and CD. Both of them will be same. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, we can use Pythagoras theorem and find the lengths of AB and CD. In the triangle, in the base we have 3 meter, the height is 4 meter, root of 3 square plus 4 square, we will get 5 meter. Now let us find the fixed end moments in AB and CD, there is no load. So in these two members, all of the fixed end moments are 0. In BC, we have uniformly distributed load 6 kN per meter. The formulas to find the fixed end moments are minus WL square upon 12 and positive WL square upon 12. Here W is 6 and L is 4. After the calculation, for M of BC, we will get minus 8 and for M of CB, we will get 8. Now let us see how the displacement occurs in this frame. The displacement occurs in this way. We can make a line connecting the point A and this point, this point and this point, and finally this point and the point D. Let us make a line from the joint B to this point. And then let us make a vertical line. From the joint C, let us make a line to this point. Then let us make a vertical line and then connect with the joint C. So we have made a pair of triangles. Since this is a symmetrical frame, the dimensions of both of the triangles will be same. Let us take this triangle. Let us keep the inclined distance as a delta and the vertical distance as a delta v. We have to find delta v in the terms of delta. This angle will be 90 degree. So this angle and this angle will be same. If this angle is theta, this angle also will be theta. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, let us find sin theta that will be 3 upon 5, we will get 0 0.6. Now let us take this triangle. In this triangle, let us find sin theta that will be delta v upon delta. We can equate this and this. From here, we will get the relation delta v is equal to 0 0.6 delta. Now let us take this triangle. In this triangle also delta v will be equal to 0 0.6 delta. For AB we have to consider this displacement which is delta. For CD we have to consider this displacement which is also delta. For the horizontal member BC we have to consider both of these displacements. We know that this is 0 0.6 delta and this is also 0 0.6 delta. So for BC, we have to add both of these. 
zero point six delta plus zero point six delta we will get one point two delta now let us start making the slope deflection equations first let us make them in the member a b since this member is subjected to sway delta with the equations we have to add the sway moments since the sway occurs towards the right side the sway moments should be negative we know that both of the fixed end moments are zero length of ab is 5 let us apply that moment of inertia for ab is 2i so instead of i we have to apply 2i in the point a there is a fixed support so theta a will become 0 finally in the member ab we have made two equations now let us make the slope deflection equations in the member bc since this member is subjected to displacement with the equations we have to add the sway moments for this member in the left side the displacement occurs downwards and on the right side it occurs upwards so these moments should be taken as positive we know that to get the total displacement we have to add both of them when we add we will get 1.2 delta so instead of delta we have to apply 1.2 delta let us apply the fixed end moments which are minus 8 and positive 8 length of bc is 4 let us apply that finally in the member bc we have made two equations now let us make the slope deflection equations in the member cd since this member is subjected to sway with the equations we have to add the sway moments since the sway occurs towards the right side the sway moments should be negative we know that both of the fixed end moments are zero length of cd is five let us apply that the moment of inertia for cd is 2i so instead of i we have to apply 2i in the point d there is a fixed support so theta d will be 0 finally in the member cd we have made two equations now let us make the joint equilibrium equations in the joint b when we add mba and mbc it will be 0 from the slope deflection equations let us apply the expressions for mba and mbc then we have to add them after adding we are getting this equation let us keep this equation as number 7 in the joint c when we add mcb and mcd it will be 0 let us apply the expressions for mbc and mcd after adding them we will get this equation let us keep this equation as number 8 we have made two equations but we need one more equation let us take the inclined member AB and find the reaction RA. In this process, we have to assume that the moments MAB and MBA are acting in the clockwise direction. Let us take a moment about the point B and find the reaction RA. RA is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 5. So minus 5 RA. The moments MAB and MBA are acting in the clockwise direction, so both of them are positive. Finally, for RA, we will get MAB plus MBA upon 5. In the similar way, we can take the member CD and find the reaction RD. Here also, we have to assume that the moments MDC and MCD are acting in the clockwise direction. Finally, for RD, we will get MCD plus MDC upon 5. Let us extend AB and CD up to a point where both of them meet. Let us keep the meeting point as O. Let us keep this point as O dash and let us keep this point as O double dash. 
we know that this distance is 3 plus 4 plus 3 so that it will be 10 meter so on the left side it will be 5 meter and on the right side also it will be 5 meter we have to find the distance of O O double dash for the distance of 3 meter the height is 4 meter so for 3 it is 4 but I need the height at the distance of 5 meter so we have to multiply with 5 when we do that we will get O O double dash which is 20 upon 3 meter to find O O dash we have to subtract 4 from O O double dash when we do that we will get 8 upon 3 meter we need to find the inclined distance AO for the distance of 3 meter the inclined distance is 5 so for 3 it is 5 but I need the inclined distance at the horizontal distance of 5 meter so we have to multiply with 5 so for OA we will get 25 upon 3 meter now let us take a moment about the point O or A is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 25 upon 3. This load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so it is also negative and the distance is 8 upon 3. The movements MAB and MDC are acting in the clockwise direction so both of them are positive. RD is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 25 upon 3. When we take a movement, no need to consider the uniformly distributed load because it is acting in the left side and on the right side. So it will be eliminated. 8 3s are 24. Minus 8 into 8, we will get minus 64. We can take that on the right side, it will become positive. Then we can multiply all of the terms with a 3 so that we will get this equation for RA and RD. We can apply these two expressions. After simplifying, we will get this equation for our own comfort. Let us change the signs on both of the sides for MAB, MBA, MCD, and MDC. Let us apply the expressions from the slope deflection equations. After simplifying, we will get this equation. Let us keep this equation as number 9. Now we have 3 equations, the 7th one, 8th one and 9th one. Let us use a calculator and solve these 3 equations. If you do not know how to solve 3 equations in the calculator, see the description below. There is a link. You can click the link and watch the video. I have used the calculator and got the values of Ea theta b, Ea theta c and Ea delta. When we apply the values of Ea theta b and Ea delta in the equation number 1, we will get Mab. When we apply the values of Ea theta b and Ea delta in the equation number 2, we will get Mba. When we apply the values of Ea theta b, Ea theta c and Ea delta in the equation number 3, we will get Mbc. When we apply the values of Ea theta b, Ea theta c and Ea delta in the equation number 4, we will get Mcb. When we apply the values of Ea theta c and Ea delta in the equation number 5, we will get Mcd. And finally, when we apply the values of Ea theta c and Ea delta in the equation number 6, we will get Mdc. In this analysis, we have calculated all of the movements. For MAB, MBA, MCD and MDC, we have got negative values. That means all of them are acting in the anticlockwise direction. For MBC and MCB, we have got positive values. That means both of them are acting in the clockwise direction. Here you can see the bending movement diagram by superposition method. Using these expressions, we can find RA and RD. For both of them, we will get negative values. That means the assumed directions are incorrect. Now, let us take the member BC and find the reactions VB and VC. By taking movement about C, we can find VB. 
then by subtracting VB by the total load we will get VC here you can see the shear force diagram in this point the shear force becomes zero in that point let us make a section xx at a distance of x from the point b we know that in this section the shear force is zero using that concept we can find x then in the distance of x we can find the bending moment alternatively we can draw the bending moment diagram by indicating the movements in all of the points. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.